If the past couple of months are any indication of how this month's gonna go, which I think it is, you're gonna need to be prepared out there if you're thinking about purchasing a home. So today we're gonna to talk about the five musts that you need to help get your offer accepted and also avoid buyer's remorse. Hi, I'm Jake Tishek, that guy that sells houses, a realtor here in Illinois. And after rates went up last year, we thought this year might be a little bit different. But we are already starting the year with low inventory levels and there seems to be lots of competition out there already. So today we're gonna to go over those tips so you have the best chance of getting your offer accepted and having a wonderful home that you can live in for years and years to come. Now our first must is you must know what's going on in your local market. Looking at national news isn't gonna help. Even your local news will give you some indication, but county to county is varying quite a bit. So it's best to reach out and talk with one of your local agents, interview a couple and find out if they do know what's going on in your specific market. Also, you can watch local videos of agents like me on YouTube, and I'll post one up here if you wanna find out what's happening last month. But also keep it in mind that when you are talking with agents, we can even get micro a little bit when it comes down to each individual property and just knowing some of the stats and what's going on in that timeline to help give you an advantage. And our second must is you must have a fantastic lender to work with. Now, I am always a big advocate for making sure that you understand the lending process as well as the home buying process, talking about different programs out there, but it goes more now. You see, with so many things changing, you need to make sure that you're a lender is in touch with you at times and knowing your situation specifically because as interest rates change, which they have been a fair amount from month to month, you need to know even sooner than that, if possible. So by having a good relationship with a wonderful lender that you can reach out to, or even better yet, are in constant contact with us, then it's gonna be a much better situation for you. Now, on top of that, a great lender will also be happy to help us try to get your offer accepted. What I mean by that is their ability to reach out and have a conversation with the seller's agent can go a long way for you. By them reaching out, they can explain your qualifications and how likely your contract is to close, but also demonstrate to the seller's agent that they can be reached and have a conversation with, which will make the whole process a lot smoother. Now, our third must have is the fact that we have to understand the difference between our needs and our wants. Now, this is an important conversation before you even go out looking at your first house during the buyer's consultation. This is why I am so keen on making sure that you as a buyer meet with your realtor before and go through a consultation, not only so you can understand what's going on, but the fact that we can discuss the differences between these. Uh, much like discussing the market, this is one of those things you discuss during the buyer's consultation. So when you go out looking at homes, you're fully prepared because it's too easy to lose your nerve and your thoughts when you're looking at homes and you know there's a deadline to get an offer in and finding yourself with a house that really doesn't meet your needs. So sit down and understand that because while the perfect house sounds like an amazing thing, there's a good chance you're going to have to overpay for that house in the, today's current market. And really the reality of it is the fact that when you're out looking for homes, Find a house that meets your needs and as you move into it, you're going to customize it and find everything that you really enjoy and make it a home. Now our fourth must have is understanding what tools and forms that us realtors have that could potentially help you get your offer accepted. A couple examples of these would be an escalation rider where our contract price is what we would prefer to pay, but we're willing to go up above it if a higher offer exists. You can also find contract addendums such as an appraisal waiver where we agree to the price on the contract itself without regards to an appraisal and if need be, have to pay above that. And of course, there are also new forms that are constantly evolving such as reverse contingencies where we get an offer accepted on the house that you like, but then the seller can go out and find their property and if they can't find it, not have to go through with this contract. Now keep in mind that there are pluses and minuses to each one of these strategies. This is why it's also important to discuss this again back at that buyer's consultation so we're prepared and you understand what each of those entail so we can use it at our disposal when need be. Now our fifth must is you must do a home inspection. It's just damn right stupid not to do one. Now a lot of our contracts give you the right to waive all inspections. And this is of course attractive to a seller because they know they're not gonna have to do any repairs and there's a really good chance that that offer is gonna close. Now for you as a buyer, that just encompasses too much risk. 
The idea of going through a home in 20 or 30 minutes, not only looking at the entire house, its layout, but also understanding the mechanicals, the foundation, plumbing, like there's just too much. And the idea of waiving that is just reckless. This is where you're gonna find so many people who have buyer's remorse because purchasing those homes can lead to tens of thousands, if not more, money after the cost of that sale. Now, one of the options that we can help meet the seller in the middle place is by offering as is condition. This states that we're still gonna do a home inspection, but we're not gonna be asking for any repairs. This allows you and the home inspector to go through the home, make sure that what you saw first time through is there. No cracks in the foundation, heating and cooling systems are working well, and make sure that it fits your needs. And if there are too many repairs, you still have the option of walking away from that contract and saving yourself from a lot of headaches and a lot of money. So make sure you put these five steps into your game plan, discuss them with your realtor. And if you are looking for a realtor still, feel free to give me a call. I'd be happy to help you buy or sell your house. And if you wanna know more about the real estate market, I'm gonna make sure to put a video up here for you. I'm Jake Tishak with Keller Williams. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.